Hello, good day guys. I got a Dell laptop here that powers on and shut off. So if you have this kind of problem, then what I'm going to be teaching you today might likely fix your their laptop for you. Now, sometimes it can require some uh, recons and parts changing. But you know, a lot of you guys are going to be surprised. But that's me, right? I fix every shit that get out of my way that's blocking my way and this happens to be one of them this laptop has been very old with me but so far i still like it because i have a lot of my documents right in there so without wasting your time let's get started let's take a look at it i've uh, done some kind of thing like this in the past before so why this one started acting up i could recollect vividly my laptop has broken a lot of times and i end up fixing it so let me go ahead and pour it up Did you hear that? And now look at it flashing right there. The battery light is flashing right here. So at this point, you want to first of all check and be sure that the battery is in a good condition and well charged. So let me flip this guy. All right. So over here. Now, so what I'm going to recommend you do in the first thing is to charge the battery because if the battery is not a fully charged or uh, run down it can actually mimic the same thing so but this one I charged it last night so it's filled up I just experienced the same thing with one of my Dell so I know probably it's gonna be the same thing so now let's do the reset procedure which is to remove the battery and keep it aside then go ahead and hold down this for 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11. I said 10, but I actually counted 11 because I counted fast. Now let's go ahead and close this up and put this battery back and see if it's gonna fix it. Most often times, what that means is just draining the power out of the system so that if suppose there is any sort of error that is making it to power up and shut off, then it's gonna fix it. So let me go ahead and power it up again. Okay, shuts off again without the light blinking right there and the network light is on no light on the screen so this time there are two things i can actually pass about let's dive straight into it so first thing first pour this off again right and remove the battery so i'm gonna be opening it somewhere here and find exactly dive into the rabbit hole so depend on the laptop they are all pretty much gonna be the same thing i've seen this on the hp before so i'm not scared of it one thing i always conceive in my mind is, is either i fix it or i broke it all right especially when uh i'm pretty much not attached to it so i'm gonna lose out these other screws for some other uh, laptop you could be having just a uh, I mean, the box where you can be able to assess what I'm trying to assess right now is going to be pretty much easy. So now I've lost it out. And we are exposed here. So what I want to do first here is... Okay. I want to go ahead and remove the RAM. Alright. The one slot. The two slot. The second slot. Now I want to go ahead and uh, power this system back on and see what happens without the RAM. At this point, I have nothing to lose, guys, so let's go ahead and pull it on and see the behavioral pattern it's going to actually have. And that's going to be able to help you to troubleshoot for some other reasons. Put it on. It should light here. And it shut off. And what, do you guys, what are you guys seeing right now? So it's mimicking exactly the same thing it has been doing before when the RAM is inside, but right now the RAM is out. So I wanna go ahead and uh, get this out again. Now, this is a clear confirmation that uh, what is actually causing this is not a power problem, is not a hardware problem, uh, sorry, a hard drive problem. There is no water spillage on this thing here. That is, what it means is that this could be defective. So one of the trick I actually used to do is to put a slight surface you know, like uh, some speed around here, 
all right? This trick works sometimes. And just touch it with your tongue and then wipe it clean, all right? Now let's go ahead and test it one after the other and see which one, because sometimes when the both of them fails, well, the system is not gonna power out. But if one fails and one is still good, but if you have the bad one right inside there, then it's not gonna power it on. So let's go ahead and power it up and see what happens. Oh, sorry, my bad. I forgot to install the battery. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay, guys. Okay, we powered up right away. Now let's let it boot up. I wanna just to make sure that this is not a, a fix by by lock. I'm gonna shut this system down. Okay, see, press F1 to continue. Okay, I wanna press F1. Okay, see the window icon right there booting up. So guys, it's on. Now, you can see it's no longer showing the battery light that was flashing that time. Hey, baby. You can hear the fan spinning. Sorry, the hard drive. Okay, guys, it's on. Okay, guys can see it right now. So let me go ahead and power it off. And... Uh, let's... Uh, let's... Repeat the other, let's try the other RAM and see why what happens. We we'll test it. The reason why there is let it not be like I see this is a, a, a fix by lock. So it could be that this one is bad, but one way to know is to test it right now. So let me go ahead. I've powered it off. There's still light here, so let it stop showing. Then it means it's powered off completely. Okay, now it's off completely but it's still showing okay it's off completely right now so i can go ahead and uh, put this and um, put it the other side let's remove this ram and insert this one here let's see if it's gonna power up put this one aside okay Okay, now it powers it up. So the boat RAM can power this laptop up independently. But how the hell, why will the two of them not work as one? So it's not that the RAM is bad, maybe the second slot is bad or something. There's some, maybe something jammed the second one. So let me take a look at it and see. This could be common errors, I don't know. Remember. Okay, it's fully up. So. Let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and power it off, and let's insert the second uh, RAM into the second slot and see what happens. I'm shutting it down. Okay, let it shut down. Okay, okay, okay. Light is still showing, so until these two light disappears, then it means it has shut down completely. Okay, it's gonna blink one more time. Look at it right there, it must stop showing. Okay, now it's off. Okay, so let me go ahead and investigate because there's a second slot right there. There don't seem to be any problem with it, but uh, let me go ahead and insert it on the second slot and let's see what happens if it's gonna act up like it's doing right now, Mama. I forgot to remove the battery. I don't know if it's gonna create any problem. Well, we're up for a ride. Now let's power it up. Okay, here you go. Instead of creating exactly the same scenario again, it will not power up with the two RAM in the place. So which means, okay, now let's, uh, let me just only leave the RAM on this side. Let me leave the, remove the, this other one here and leave the upper one, so let's see what happens. <clears throat> if it powers, if it won't power it up, then it means this second slot right here have a problem. And, uh, okay. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, I made a mistake. I'm supposed to remove the battery, sorry. 
Okay. Let's check it again. So if it doesn't power up right now. <clears throat> okay. So guys, now we confirmed that actually one of the slot is what is the problem that is not actually the RAM. So I hope you guys uh, have seen it. Now let me go ahead and power it up and see if I can power it up from here for shut it down. Okay, I'll first shut it down, <coughs> but it won't. So let me go ahead and remove it. So at this point here, the only thing I have to do is to get just a RAM, uh, because this two gig here cannot be able to do what I want to do with it. So I have to get probably six gig on one slot. That's going to be more expensive. But this slot definitely have a problem. But I can see it with my naked eyes. I couldn't see it. I don't know. Maybe it's at the upper side, maybe one of the cells is jammed, I don't know. But right now, you guys can see that if I insert it right here, right now, it piles up just fine and uh, no problem. So, let's go ahead and test it one more time on the second slot, not on the first. Let's see what happens. It piles up right away. If the tree light doesn't blink right away, it means, okay, so guys, so, I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.